Smells like Friday, amen? Ah, good morning, and thank you so much for joining me again this morning. Let's go back to the book of Titus. This is part two now. Yesterday was part one. If you didn't see that, please uh, click on that video from yesterday and, um, and watch that. And this is the second part to that. Titus chapter two, we're going to read once again the first five verses, the Bible says, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience, the aged women likewise, that they be in behaviors becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Now, yesterday we looked at uh, the kind of the middle verses there where it talks about the, uh, the elders teaching the younger, particularly the elder women teaching the younger women. But again, this uh, other, other passages in the scripture teach the older men to do the same thing for the younger men. Basically, the elders of the church should be mentoring and, um, and teaching the younger uh, in the church how to behave themselves in a godly manner before God. And of course, they themselves, the elders themselves, have to be godly themselves in order to mentor the younger and teach them how to be godly, right? But I want to look at this time, the first and the last verses um, of what we just read. Look at how it starts. It's very interesting. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Become sound doctrine. You see, the behavior of the Christian has a huge impact and effect on the doctrine of the church. I should say the behavior of the church has a huge impact, a direct impact and influence on the doctrine of that church. And then look again at how it ends in verse number five, that the word of God be not blasphemed. See, it's important how the church carries itself and behaves itself, especially before God, but also before men. Because once the behavior begins to degrade and, and, and becomes unseemly and, un, and even ungodly, the doctrine will follow right behind in that behavior, uh, in, in, in that doctrine, uh, in that church. Uh, sorry, <laughs> apparently I need another sip of coffee. Uh, it, it is tied together, and I've seen this happen, okay? The, when, when a church begins to lose interest in, uh, in, in godliness and the things of God and trying to genuinely follow God according to what he says and not according to what they want to do. And they start losing interest in that and they start gravitating toward pleasure and entertainment, uh, you know, whatever it is, anything other than, other than God. Their doctrine also begins to sway. It begins to, to go far, far away from the word of God and you get all kinds of of crazy doctrines, um, you know, out there because because it started with the behavior. It started with uh, you know the the um, the church themselves starting to act in an ungodly way. Maybe the, and and when you see the epistles that that Paul uh, wrote, so many times he is trying to get the church to to knock off whatever it is they're doing that's not right you know whether it's fornication or or something else you know it's paul saying hey 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 stop that that's sin you need to knock it off you stop that right now because paul knows that as soon as the behavior begins to to go the wrong direction the doctrine will also start to go the wrong direction it goes hand in hand that's why it's so important that that god ties it in Right here in Titus chapter 2, he ties it in. He says in, in these verses, you know, uh, behave yourselves. Elders teach the younger to behave themselves and, and, and act godly and chaste and sober. Why? Because your doctrine depends on it. And so that's why I preach hard against sin. That's why I preach the Bible unadulterated. Whatever the Bible says, I will preach it, even if it may make me or, or others feel uncomfortable because truth is truth and it needs to be preached. 
The doctrine's important. And, and, and how we carry ourselves and how we behave is important because they are tied together hand in hand. Uh, thank you so much once again for joining me this morning. God bless you. Have a wonderful Friday. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. <laughs>